become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for special access to photos, articles, and rare to find books on old school bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today we're going to look at the strict curl as specialized by Mr. America of 1946, Alan Steffen. Now, Alan Steffen was a very accomplished bodybuilder from the Silver Era. And during the 1949 Mr. North America competition, he actually won the strict curl competition uh, with a curl of 190 pounds as a natural. Here he is uh, showing off his fantastically peaked and muscular bicep all done naturally so his, his uh, information i find is very very valuable um, as he was one of the natural bodybuilders fr uh, from the silver era let's have a look at his specialization for the strict curl now alan stefan starts this article by stating that something very obvious and that is that the upper arm has a universal appeal especially amongst novice lifters most lifters start bodybuilding with the need to improve the size of their arms and their chest with the arms especially the biceps are one of the things that people want to develop the quickest and the fastest and and rightly so the arms respond very quickly to training and improvements can be easily monitored using a measuring tape and anyone that possesses a 15 inch arm or greater will tell you that it turns heads people get impressed by it and people nod at you because they understand hey you're a lifter right you got swole arms right so a well muscled 15 inch arms de definitely turns heads um, the biceps as, as Alan Stefan uh, says can be developed with a very few amount of exercises that there's not that many that are needed and in this particular article we're going to look at what he used for developing um, the the great ability to curl such large weights being a natural lifter especially in the mr north america uh, 1949 competition so let's get straight to it so the curl against the wall or the strict curl obviously has to be the number one exercise that you would choose if you want to specialize in the strict curl for competition. And Alan Stefan recommends obviously performing this exercise first so you have all your efforts concentrated on the task at hand. He recommends that you start off with a weight that you can do for eight to 10 reps and you would have your, um, your back against the wall with the back and the hips touching the wall, as you can see clearly in this photo. And you, and ideally, um, for the proper mechanics of the curl, you would have your feet at around hip width, with a, at approximately a, fi, a, a foot away from the wall, as shown again in the photo. And, and this would prevent you from cheating. And it really does put direct stress on the biceps and allows you to perform the, uh, the exercise and the movement strictly so that when it comes to competition um, your back which should be on the wall stays on the wall and the curl is strict the more you practice of course the better you will become at it um, as i mentioned earlier um, the reps eight to ten reps and um, i'll get to the sets later on and now we're going to have a look at accessory exercises now for accessory exercises um, Alan Stefan recommends, for example, a whole bunch of different types, which I'll only list three. Uh, for example, one is the pulley curl. Um, by working the biceps at different angles, you will strengthen them uh, at different angles as well. This is a highly uh, isolated movement, and because the strict curl is such an isolated movement itself, uh, the pulley curl, according, according to Alan Stefan, also helps in the development, obviously, of the bicep and in the strict curl. Um, the pulley curl, of course, is uh, recommended for developing peak in the biceps and for using them uh, solely isolated um, without the use of the rest of the body. Um, so again, using two overhead pulleys in this case, you would stand slightly in front of the pulley as shown in the photo, arch the back slightly, only slightly, and curl the hands towards the shoulders without moving the elbows. It's very important to not move the elbows just as you would in the strict curl. Again, this is a, a very different motion to the strict curl, but um, in respect to the elbows and to the isolation of the biceps, it would definitely help with the strict curl. Here he recommends a higher rep range of 15 reps only, concentrating on the contraction. Now, of course, 
with most core programs and development of the biceps routines, you would always have the heavy curl, especially if you're performing some kind of a silver era or golden era routine. Not only does it promote mass uh, um, mass growth in the bicep, but it is also a very important point here that Alan Steffen makes is that the heavy curl is a plateau breaker. So if you're stuck on the strict curl by doing the cheating heavy curl, you would definitely be eventually much stronger and be able to break through your plateaus. Um, it permits the use, of course, of a lot of weight simply because you you would start with a cheat. So you would start the exercises with a little swing to get it up and you would bend your back a little as the weight comes up. Of course, before starting the swing, you would have the barbell at the thighs and you would bend forward slightly and straighten up as you begin to curl, arching your back slightly and curling the weight up. Again here, uh, heavy weight is recommended for 10 reps. Again, a great plateau breaker which should help in the development of the strict curl. Finally, another great exercise recommended by Alan is the incline curl at, the, at that stage as performed on a board, similar to what was later developed as the preacher curl. Here, you would use a close grip. Again, um, by varying the type of curl, you would strengthen the biceps in different areas and different angles, and so would strengthen the bicep altogether. You would start with the elbows fairly close together on the board, and um, again, with the forearms flat on the board, you would curl up for about 10 reps. So use a weight for 10 reps. Now for all of these exercises, as, as um, Alan Steffen recommends, you will start as a beginner if you're practicing for the strict curl to just do one set of each with more of a focus on the strict curl. So you probably you do a little bit more on your strict curl, maybe three or four sets and the accessories, you'd add a set or two, and eventually with time, with um, more experience, you would start increasing the volume to three to four sets in all exercises. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this strict curl specialization uh, course and routine as uh, promoted and recommended by Mr. America of 1946, Alan Steffen, a real legend in the silver era of bodybuilding, shown here uh, with his fantastic, one of my favorite bodybuilders from the Silver Era for sure, with the, with that phenomenal side chest pose. It wasn't overdone, but you could really tell um, that he loved bodybuilding. He, he's always smiling in all his photos, and he really loved the lifestyle of bodybuilding. He always looks so healthy and so strong. I love that about the Silver Era physiques and personalities such as Alan Steffen. Hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Thank you for watching. Leave me a comment. And if you like the content, please donate using PayPal. Uh, the details are below in the description of this video. Or you can become a Patreon at www.patreon.com uh, sorry, forward slash Golden Era Bookworm, uh, where you have access to articles, photos, and hard to find books. That's it for me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.